Good morning children. I hope you all are enjoying all the works we are sending you, the lessons, quiz, live worksheet, all the activities you all are enjoying and moreover your concepts are getting cleared. Okay, so let's start and continue with chapter 4 and the topic which I am going to cover today is addition and subtraction of time. Okay, so the learning objective is students should be able to add and subtract time and understand to add and subtract minutes and hours separately. And at the end of the class, you would you have recalled addition and subtraction of numbers with and without borrowing and understand when borrowing from hours to minutes, we have to keep the relation in mind. The relation that is 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes whenever we are borrowing. Let's start um, by addition of time. 2 hours 30 minutes plus 5 hours 20 minutes. So let's see the steps uh, of doing it. First we are going to arrange in different columns. We are going to arrange in the columns of hours and minutes because they are different units isn't it as we have done in measurement before. The same way first we are going to arrange in the column of hours and minutes. So 2 hours 30 minutes. 5 hour 20 minutes I have arranged it in different columns now next is now start adding minutes to minutes first we will add minutes to minutes so 30 plus 20 when I added I got it as 50 so after adding 50 minutes I got now check if the minutes obtained is more than or less than or equal to 60 is it more less or 60 the the one which I got after adding minutes in this case this answer which I got is less than 60 so if it is less than 60 we need to proceed to the next step so that is now we are going to add hours to hours and get the answer. So what is there in hours 2 and 5? So 5 plus 2 we will get 7. So our answer is 7 hours 50 minutes. Okay. Now let's see some more example. We are going to add 3 hours 40 minutes plus 1 hour 55 minutes. So first step is to arrange and different columns so now first we are going to arrange in different column columns of hours and minutes then next step is to start adding minutes to minutes so we added 40 and 55 when we added we got it as 95 now we will check if the minutes obtained is more or less or equal to 60 children why are we checking this because we know the relation that one hour is equal to 60 minute isn't it so here when we checked we got this 95 is greater than 60 now as it is greater than 60 means 95 minutes means it it has passed an hour isn't it so what we are going to do now uh, we are going to subtract 60 from it and carry it over to the R because one R has passed. So from this 95 I am subtracting 60 and I got it as 35. So this 95 uh, actually is one hour 35 minutes. So 35 minutes remains here and that one hour will go up and get added to R's column. Now we are going to add the hours and get our answer. So when I added the hours I got it as 5. So finally the answer is 5 hours 35 minutes. Okay children I hope it is clear. Please if it is not just go back and see the video once again. And then you proceed to the next slide. Okay, now let's see one more addition example. First step again is arrange in different columns. I arranged it 6 hours 15 minutes plus 3 hours 45 minutes. Now start adding minutes to minutes. When I added minutes to minutes, I got it as 60. Now 
I check if the minutes obtained is more or less or equal to 60. Again, you remember why we are uh, uh, comparing it with 60 is because 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. That is the relation. So, here we saw that the answer which we got in minutes is equal to 60. So, now we are going to do, uh, do it again. Uh, the same thing that is this 60 minutes will get converted to an hour. Okay, because 60 minus 60 is 0. So, here in the minutes column, you will get your minutes as 0. Because this 60 got converted into R. And we are going to add that to the R column. So, now we are going to add R's and get our answer. So, after adding, I got it as 10. So, my answer is 10 hours and 0 minutes, 0 we usually don't write. So, my answer is 10 hours. So, children, please, if it is not clear, please go rewind and check, check the video once again before you, we go to the next slide. Now, uh, I want you all to write date and heading and uh, start practice this question uh, in your notebook if you are not able to un getting it please go back in the video and see the steps we are doing it and the, the steps I have explained to you and then complete this in your notebook now we are going to see subtraction of time okay so uh, sub for subtraction also first we are going to arrange in different columns okay different columns of hours and minutes 7 hour 45 minutes and minus 5 hour 20 minute next will be we will start subtracting minutes from minutes so we will see from 45 we are subtracting 20 is it possible to subtract check if it is possible if yes then we are going to subtract it is possible to subtract 20 from 45 so we are going to subtract and we got it as 25 now we are going to subtract hours and get the answer now in the hours can we subtract 5 from 7 yes so after subtracting got so finally the answer which I got is 2 hours 25 minutes okay let's see, let's see this example now again first arrange in columns of hours and minutes then I'm going to start subtracting minutes from minutes from 30 uh, I'm going to subtract 40 children just think is it possible to subtract 40 from 30 is it possible no isn't it so what we are going to do if it is it is not possible we are going to borrow you remember in subtraction if it is not possible to subtract a bigger number from a smaller one we go to the next uh, uh, neighbor and borrow in the same way we are going to borrow here we are going to borrow from ours so when we are going to borrow from ours this 9 get reduced to 8 and as we know the relation that 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes so we are going to add 60 to the minute from which we have to subtract in this case we are going to add 60 to 30 okay so when we are adding 60 to 30 this 30 will become 90 minutes isn't it so now is it possible to subtract 40 from 90 Yes, it is. So now what we are going to do? We are going to subtract and get the answer. So 90 minus 40 is equal to 50. And then uh, in hours, 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. So finally, our answer which we got is 4 hours, 50 minutes. 
ओके चिल्ड्रेन जस्ट गो थ्रू द वीडियो अगेन इफ इट इज नॉट क्लियर टू यू जस्ट सी स्टेप बाई स्टेप ओके लेट्स यू वन मोर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सब्ट्रैक्शन अरेंज इन डिफरेंट कॉलम्स आई हैव डन दैट अरेंजिंग इन डिफरेंट कॉलम्स नाउ स्टार्ट सब्ट्रैक्टिंग मिनट्स फ्रॉम मिनट्स अगेन इफ आई सी हियर इज इट पॉसिबल टू सब्ट्रैक्ट थर्टी फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी नो सो वॉट इट विल डू इट विल गो टू आर्स एंड बोरो ओके सो वेन वी आर बोरोइंग दिस सेवन गेट रिड्यूस टू सिक्स एंड इट विल गिव वन आर टू द मिनट एंड वी नो दैट वन आर इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी मिनट सो दिस सिक्सटी वी विल एड टू द मिनट फ्रॉम विच वी हैव टू subtract so here uh, we have to subtract from 20 so we will add 60 to this 20 and i and this in place of 20 now i have 80 now it is possible to subtract so we will subtract and get the answer from 80 i subtract 30 and i got my answer as 50 minutes and in hours from 6 i subtracted 6 So zero six minus six is zero. So my answer is zero hours fifty minutes. But we don't write zero, isn't it? So answer is fifty minutes. I hope children, it the steps are uh, clear to you. Please, please, if it is not, please uh, rewind the video and see the steps again and again unless you follow the steps. now again i want you to do this question in your notebook uh, how to do it to do the subtraction arrange in column follow the steps and do the question uh, i hope today's class is clear to you uh, practice as much as much as you can okay and stay stay safe and stay healthy